congratulations on the show. Thank you. What was the lure for you with this particular book? Because we've seen the film before, but now it's a TV series. What was the lure for you as a writer to want to get involved with this one? Uh, uh, well, simply that I love the book so much. I mean, really that. There's no point in working on something like this unless you love the, the source material. Otherwise, you'll be fighting it all the time. Because I, I, love the, uh, I love the book, and I thought there was a way of doing it on television that you couldn't do on film. I think the film's good, by the way. It's a great film, but uh, uh, you know the the slightly rambling structure of the book. Uh, uh, I thought, well, you know, there's a different there's a different kind of dramatization you can do on television uh, that would make a, a different feeling piece. Uh, so that was that was what it was. Yeah, and you got a fantastic cast as well. How how much did Theo and Rose give you when you were preparing and then in, when you were filming the show itself? How much did they give you in terms of the characters and the, the story you wanted to tell? Um, well, they're, they're uh, I mean, as you watch this, you'll see just how much of it rests on the two of them. I mean, the huge huge stretches of the show are, are, are virtually a two-hander. Uh, so uh, they give. Uh, extraordinarily detailed performances Henry uh, 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 Theo as Henry gives us several different uh, uh, minutely differentiated versions of Henry and uh, Claire gives us a Rose uh, who isn't passive and that's it's, it's quite uh, Rose gives us a Claire who isn't passive I should say um, because uh, it's very possible to play that part in a very passive sort of way because it's a woman who's being told what her future is uh, and much as she likes that future, she doesn't like being told it. She doesn't like being told it at all. And you need to have that fire in her. Otherwise, she's just a maiden strapped to the railway tracks, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. I, I always wanted to ask you this if I ever interviewed you. Where Have you ever been given the question of a second Tintin film? Because so many people want to see a Tintin film. I know you worked on the first one. Have oh, there yeah. ever, been a, ever been talk about that? Because it's been in the pipeline for a long time. doesn't seem to be Just ever, yeah. ever happened. Have you ever had any talks with Stephen and, and Peter about uh, a second one? Well, as you probably know, I left the, I left the project course, to do yeah. Doctor Who. That's how yeah. long ago it was. Yeah. Um, and occasionally, I mean, uh, whenever I'd bump into Cathy, I'd say, are you, are you doing another one? Uh, and I think I, I think I think Kathy was quite keen, but I, I'm not sure they ever all managed to uh, align themselves in the same place. Yeah, but it's an yeah. Yeah. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll see. I did, I did. That's why I wanted to ask you about it. It's, oh, I know, obviously, good, it's had good, a good, weird good. production history, but it's yeah. been a bit of time now. But maybe yeah. one day we might see it. Hey. I mean, uh, you, with that kind of thing, you would want it to go straight away. You'd want yeah, to be banging them out yeah. one every year, wouldn't you? Yeah. If you could, or one every two years, like the Bonds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A uh, big gap is not right for it somehow. No, maybe yeah. we'll see it in some other, yeah, yeah. other way. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You 